Okay. All right. Okay, here's another one since you're on a roll. I need to finish my hardwood floors before my folks come in this Thanksgiving. What's the cheapest way to refinish my hardwood floors? Do it yourself. Um, what would be the uh, likelihood of it coming out looking bad if you finished it yourself? 90% chance it probably wouldn't turn out right. Um, <laughs> a lot of times now you can replace the wood cheaper than you can have it refinished. And you can, it's easier to do it yourself. Right. Tear the wood out. Um, but if it's just a four you want done, I would call a professional. I'd call a professional in and get him to do it. Um, but you know what? It is your folks that's coming your and you're folks. trying to impress them. So maybe they could put a click LVP over the top of it. You Parents could. walk in like, hey, y'all got a new floor. Oh, yeah. That and would they'd be, be impressed because if you try to finish it, refinish it, and it doesn't come out looking too good, the parents are going to be a little disappointed in you. Plus, if you got all the family coming over Thanksgiving, you're going to have the smell of the finish throughout the house for many days anyway. But it might cover up other smells you got yeah, in the house. So it really maybe. depends on your application. Right. Okay. That was a good answer, Jason. Thanks. Nice job. You did it well. Okay. Um, do hardwood floors make your house feel colder? Uh, than what? Than what? You know, if you're comparing it to carpet, certainly um, they do. Uh, it's just because, you know, they're, they're hard and, and you get more contact with your foot. Uh, and that's why a lot of people like to use rugs. You know, use rugs right beside the bed where your feet fall off. Um, you can always put on socks. If you don't have some, you can have some of my old ones, you know. That's right. Um, but to answer your question, do they make it feel colder? I would have to say yes. All right, what does RH mean in hardwood flooring? Should I worry about it? RH stands for relative humidity, okay? And there is no relative humidity in hardwood. Relative humidity is in the air. Um, what we measure in flooring is not necessarily relative hard, relative humidity, but how much moisture is in that wood. And is it is extremely important. Um, so we have two different times that we want to re measure humidity. The first is before the wood goes down. We want to know the sorry, we want to know the relative humidity in the room. We want to know the amount of moisture in the subfloor, and we want to know the amount of moisture of the hardwood that's being installed. EPA says that relative humidity in the house should run between 40 and 60% ongoing. In a construction site, that's really hard to do because you don't have air conditioning. You don't have the means of covering that. So really, that isn't as important as the amount of moisture in your subflooring. We take a moisture meter, which no hardwood flooring job or no, no nail down job, certainly, should ever be attempted without a moisture meter. But you, whether you're using a pin meter that goes into the wood or a contact meter, it will tell you what the relative, what the percentage of moisture is in that subfloor. Um, we want it to be under 15, preferably under 13, but we want it to be higher than six. Uh, we also want it to be within no more than four percent of what your hardwood flooring is. Okay, so if you check the the hardwood flooring and it comes in at about eight percent, then we don't want our subfloor to be over 12. If one of them's off, we have to say, well, which one of these is wrong? Because if we have a, if say we have 15 in our hardwood and we have wood that's at eight, we stack that wood up and we let it acclimate, that wood's going to expand. We really don't want that wood expanding because it's milled at a certain moisture level. It's milled to be perfect. It's milled to go together. And when you, this, this might be getting a little technical, stop me if I'm getting too boring, okay. but the grain changes directions in wood. Some of them run vertical or, uh, What's that called? Rift, quarter song. Quarter song. Where others are flat song and they're flat. And that's typically when your grain has the wider grooves in it. Um, and a, a, those boards expand along the grain. So if we take a flat song and a quarter song board and we introduce moisture to both of them, one's going to grow this way, the other's going to grow this way. That means when we nail them together, even if they fit, we're still going to have a half difference between the boards. So we don't want to introduce much moisture to our floors. A couple of percent is fine. We would never, ever want to introduce more than 4%. Harder the wood, like a hickory, the more that could be a problem because there's more room for it to move. Um, but anyway, that, yes, the, the amount of moisture in your subfloor, in your wood, and your room is, is important. After you install it, you still need to keep an eye on that relative humidity. You know, if, if uh, one spring is wet but cool and you want to open up the doors and windows, if our relative humidity gets much over 60, 70%, we're going to introduce moisture to that floor and we're going to see some expansion and you're going to see cupping in a floor, which can be disastrous, okay? Most of the time when a floor cups, it doesn't ever lay back down completely. So if you start to see some cupping in your floor, 
Turn the air on. Close the doors and windows. Deal with that moisture then, not later. Okay? Yeah. Anything you'd like to add to that? No, you did fine. That's pretty good, wasn't it? That's good. Yeah, I studied like a, an hour for that.